After Boris Johnson, the new Prime Minister is of Indian origin. But if this happens in Singapore, will Singaporeans be ready to accept it? Sadly, the answer for these few years and even the next 20 years is No! If Singaporeans could accept an Indian to be a Prime Minister, many of them would not complain about Indians coming to work in Singapore, and the opposition would not have a heated debate on Sika at the Parliament. So, how could Singaporeans possibly be ready to accept an Indian Prime Minister considering the Chinese majority in Singapore? If Singapore does not have racism problems, ministers will not be working so hard almost every day to build racial harmony to maintain peace and harmony. In Singapore, Singaporeans always feel more at ease when people around them look or speak like them. This is nothing new and has been around for a long time. This is why Singapore has so many curry, you see. Chinese curry, Indian curry, Malay curry, four different types of people. The tastes are so different. As for me, I always like Noya curry with part of Chinese curry. So everyone has their own curry, own type of curry. Right? And this is why we have different ways, different tastes. But don't ever give me Korean or Japanese curry. They are so weird. Take Sika as an example. Many Singaporeans, especially the opposition, have been opposing Indians coming to Singapore, despite the plan to boost Singapore's economy and forge better diplomatic TIs with India. An objective economist would advise any government to work with any country, no matter where they come from, to achieve any development. In this regard, Sika has increased Singapore's exports to India and local companies have improved their business relations with India thus creating more jobs for Singaporeans. So you know that our jobs are taken by Sika? We still the minister job are also taken by them, then they will know. Everywhere we see Sika, 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 Sika. Even housing estate have them around. Uh, where they are here, the Singaporeans lost their job because of Sika. On social media, opposition parties and supporters have been complaining about Sika there. That's how I know. But what if Singapore did not open its economy to India? Not only Singapore might not attract many Indians coming in, it also failed to attract other foreign investments. If Singapore only relied on local companies, not only would the employment rate be low, but many workers might also not get better wages. Additionally, taxi drivers, food delivery, food sellers, and other service providers are enabled to acquire more customers for their businesses. Since many Singaporeans mostly the supporters of anti-establishment, are hostile to Seca and Indians coming to Singapore. How could they possibly be willing to accept a non-Chinese prime minister? Remember to hit subscribe, like and share. Thank you for following.